Hello and thanks for watching this video focused on the new QuickBooks Enhanced, I should say Advanced Reporting in QuickBooks Enterprise. I opened it by going to Reports and then you have Advanced Reporting. Um, if you're in any subscription level of Enterprise, you'll have this silver, uh, gold, or platinum. Just go ahead and open it up and it has to install and then it syncs your data or uploads the data because it really is an extra program outside of it, kind of like Fixed Asset Manager or Statement Writer. If you guys are used to those, it's, it's a, kind of a similar theory, if you will. Once that's done, then you'll be able to actually start running reports. It's a very sophisticated. It's kind of like Crystal Reports within Enterprise. Uh, I am by no means an expert at it, so I just wanted to show you how I created this daily register report, and hopefully that'll give you some insight into in what the actual advanced reporting module within QuickBooks Enterprise 15 can do. So this is a daily register. I have a transaction type. That's really my table, all the transactions uh, for a particular period of you know, December 2014, total transactions for each type, as well as the total amounts. And then, of course, here's just my general transaction types here. It's like it's like you're kind of on a blank canvas and creating these reports. Um, and I could choose a particular day of the month, you know, to see exactly, like, you know, December 10th, I had five total bills and 12 total bill payment checks. And, boy, that's odd. And then, on the, you know, et cetera, on the 7th. So it just gives you reports that you're not really able to see uh, within enterprise uh, within this advanced reporting. So, but let's go and see how we actually create the charts. Because if we go back to the list, you know, here are the canned ones we give you, the ones with the dollar sign. So we have aging dashboard, details, summary, customer lists, some inventory reports, job estimate versus actual, and then some sales reports in a P&L by job. And then you can kind of mess around with them and add other columns and fields that aren't typically uh, allowed, let's say, with the source and target reporting structure within QuickBooks in general. So this is really going to free you up. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at this. We're going to run a, a start from scratch. So I'm just going to click that and click open. And I'm not going to save the other report. And this is what it looks like when you're first starting. I can even blow, uh, make it bigger if I want, because again, it's an app outside of Enterprise. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add current selection. Let's leave that there. I'm going to put the ribbon date up there. Those are my dates. And I'm going to put a report title, and you right-click and go to Properties. This is how you open up all these fields. And I'm just going to call it Daily Register. And we'll call it number four. And I'm just going to click OK. Oh, Daisily. Fine. That's perfect. And then I want to go into the list box, and I'm going to Here's all the options, like income accounts, expense, P&L accounts, balance sheet, etc. And you really just got to play with it. And I'm going to do transaction type. Those are the transactions that I'm interested in. And in order to create a chart or a particular table, I'm going to right click. Because we have, you know, tables here. We have a vendor and a purchase transaction, sales transactions if you want. And we have charts already kind of canned. And we're going to add more stuff in here, but it's some basic cha sales charts. But you probably want to build your own. So you right-click anywhere on the white canvas and go to New Sheet Object. And then I'm going to choose Chart. These are all the different possibilities, though. A table box, input box, etc. I don't know what half these really mean. I know what chart means. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. And again, I'm going to call this Daily... There we go. Register. Now you click, I'm going to choose the pivot table, or you could just do a straight table or pivot, or you can choose any one of the charts here. And I'm going to go ahead and click next. Now I'm going to be looking at transaction types. Okay, so here's all the different fields you have in Enterprise. This is what really blows open all the doors. Okay, and, and as you learn this, from those of you guys who are schooled in Crystal or running reports and access, this will be a lot more familiar to you than myself. But I'm just going to do kind of a basic daily register. I'm going to go down to transactions, and I'm going to see you have transaction cost, customer list ID, I mean, all this different stuff. It's like the custom reporting we had in Enterprise, you know. Um, it's still in there, but this is already kind of ready for you to use. So I'm going to go to transaction type. And it's quite a bit, shipping address, everything. I mean, you could do a, your price level by customer and what transaction report that you want. You can build yourself if you want. Whatever that crazy report you wanted, I bet you can do it here, you know. So I'm going to go to transaction type, and that's kind of my main dimension. I'm going to go ahead and click next. And the next is the expressions, and expressions are columns. So if, I'm, if my dimension is the transaction type, Right? And that's the basic report I'm looking at. And so I want a sum and I want like a, a total transactions. So I'm gonna I'm gonna create that right now. And and you start 
by clicking the functions tab and you go to the category and I'm going to do an aggregation and then the function name is going to be count and I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there it's a parenthesis if you already know the formulas you can write them in but I <laughs> okay yeah, that'd be fun. I know one of you guys will be able to figure that out. So there's count. I, so I have the aggregation. Now I'm going to go back to the field and I'm going to choose, you know, what table is it? I'm actually going to do transactions. And then I'm going to go down and choose a transaction type. Action type. There you go. And I'm going to put it in there and paste it in with the parentheses. And then I'm going to close the parentheses. Uh, click OK for that one and now I'd like to add another one and you can change it too so the count could be you know total transactions we'll leave that there and then I'm going to add another expression or column and this is going to be my uh, amount if you will so again go back to functions and click on the category this is going to be aggregation again but at this time I'm going to choose sum where are you there you are choose sum paste it in so it has that first parenthesis waiting and go back to field and again you're going to choose I'm going to choose transactions because that's my table and then the field within that I'm going to do amount with sign click in on the right hand side of the parenthesis and click paste and then put the parenthesis again and click OK and then I can call this you know daily register amount sorry or however you guys want to do it but so you have the functions, you have the fields, you choose aggregation or something else. I mean, you can really blow the lid off of this thing uh, as you will, but you're just going to have to kind of play around with it and do the best you can on your own or, or seek, you know, somebody in your area. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and click finish. And then I have my daily register. And what's is nice is have that with my transaction types. And I could turn it into a chart if I wanted to. And let me try to do the select fields again. Maybe I just didn't choose it correctly. I want day. So I can choose like, you know, December 7th or something. Add. That's what I forgot to do. There's day. I click OK. So day is on here now. And you move it on the canvas. And now I can look at 2013 transactions or 14. Let's do 2013. I seem to have a lot more. There was 445 total bills, 258 total checks, 150 deposits, etc. I can look at, say, December, and then I can drill in on December 11th and see what we did for that particular day. So that's just part of the QuickBooks uh, advanced reporting. I'm going to go ahead and save it and just call it, you know, daily register for. Click OK. And now I can close this and go back to the list. You see it's listed there, so you can open it. But just to give you uh, some other things, here's my sales by item detail report. You can open this up. It's already kind of pre-canned for you. And I probably have uh, better data, like let's say in 2014 or maybe 13 in this file. Yeah. So, and I can change these columns, right? Here's the table. I can right click, choose properties, and then I can go to my expressions and choose other columns that I want. This is how you add columns. You click add and then you go to the, right? I go to function and then I go to field, just like you did with the last one. And dimensions would be the different tables you could add to the canvas if you want. Okay, let's go back to the list. Uh, show a few other things. Job estimate actual detail might be nice. I wonder if I have any, don't say if I have any data on that. It might not in this file. Possible though, I should. Let's load the report here. Yeah, so I have, you know, job estimate versus actual detail. And what's nice is you could add like a payroll column for employees onto this report. I mean, this is really where I think it gets exciting for people who are really running reports. You just right click and go into properties and I can add a expression, which would be a column for employee hours or payroll or something like that. That's where it gets really exciting, I think. Go back to the list and there's several others. Stock status, inventory, there's a nice dashboard. Let's look at that one. I haven't seen that one yet. AR aging dashboard. So, I mean, this is different from what you typically see um, with QuickBooks reports, right? You can, you're basically adding tables onto a canvas, charts, pivot tables, straight tables, what you will, and then adding expressions or columns within the table, filtering by particular customer vendor or transaction type or what have you, and then 
coming up with something that you can then print out or, or go to Excel. Very exciting. It's included in any subscription level of QuickBooks Enterprise 15, silver, gold, or platinum. Then again, it's right clicking and then new shield object, chart, start going. Hope that was helpful. You guys have a great day.